Hey guys, Gerald, Jeep Fragrance, hope you guys are doing well. Today I'll be talking about weekly rotation fragrance that I've been wearing for a week. I just want to share it with you guys, but before that though, I want you guys to stay safe and hope everything's working out for you guys, alright? So I'm going to start over with this fragrance from Paco Rabanne, and it's called Ultra Red. Look at the bottle itself. It is sexy, right? It has a red radiant to it. Again, let me read the notes for you guys. It has blood orange, praline, tonka, vanilla, and patchouli. Those only the notes for this one here. And it's amazing, I want to be honest. It's a citrus gourmand fragrance for men. It opens up a blast of blood orange and praline. And on the mid, you'll be greeted with vanilla and tonka. The sake part though, the patchouli at the end is a little bit toned down, but then it is beautiful, sweet and fresh fragrance. This is the only sweet and fresh fragrance that lasts for me that lasted a bit longer. It lasted like around seven to eight, seven to eight hours on my skin and it is beautiful from the opening to the dry down. But the down part of this fragrance though, it is discontinued. Discontinued, which is the sake part. I love this fragrance, hope they reactivate it or they still, you know, you know, still probably produce more of this one. Again, you could get this from uh, fragranceby.ca and it is really, really affordable. All right, so it's probably like around fifty to sixty dollars, forty dollars U.S. But Canadian is not too bad for me. This is great fragrance. You can wear it any time, any day, and um, yeah, it's easy, easy to wear and it's beautiful. I like it. I recommend this fragrance, guys. But again, it is hard to find. All right, so check this out, guys. Ultra Red by Paco Rabanne. Up next. This one here, it's Michael Jordan Cologne for men. I think it's a classic fragrance because um, I think it's in the 90s. But believe it or not though, this fragrance here has like around 18, probably 18 to 20 notes, right? For just this $20 ones. You can probably get this in Walmart or any discounters, but then this one here has 18 notes. Can you imagine that? It's aromatic Fuji Air fragrance for men. Um, I know it's it's aromatic fragrance for men. It has cypress, grapefruit, lemon, cognac, cognac. I love cognac. Cedar, geranium, rosewood, juniper berry, fair incense, lavender green tea, sandalwood, sage, patchouli, and musk. Again, this fragrance here opens up really fresh and clean fragrance. If you go to the gym, if you go to like, you know, shop, if you go do your grocery or shopping, this one here, it is really easy to wear and I recommend this fragrance. You know, it is affordable. You can just spray it as you go. You could use it as a room freshener or car freshener for your car. It is great. It is beautiful fragrance, man. Just freshly out of the shower. For 20 bucks, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this one, right? I, I can even spray it like a thousand times. Look at that. I don't care. It is beautiful. Whew feels like just right freshly out of the shower again check this out Michael Jordan cologne for men um, it's 20 bucks what can you say all right so up next this one don't need no introductions Aqua di Gio Profumo was released I think it was released in 2015 but it's been a while the original is one of my signature fragrance and I'm loving this one as you can see there's a big there's a huge dent to it there's a damage to it because you know I've been wearing it for a while <clears throat> let me read the notes for you guys 
It has sea notes, bergamot, rosemary, sage, geranium, incense, and patchouli. Again, this fragrance here is, I can say, is one of my signature fragrance, and it's not just me, and most guys too, you know, because it's so popular. It's the best fragrance at all times. You can wear it anytime, any day. It's very long lasting fragrance. It's very fresh. It's massive feeling. It's a chick magnet, a AKA panty dropper, as they say. For me, 2021, still one of the best, right? The incense, the patchouli will blend it together and it created that really, really mature and masculine scent and they umped it to the best best fragrance which is called the Perfumer right now i still love i still love the old ones and i still have the couple bottle as you know you know i still have it there so i'm just going to show it to you guys there you go there you go one it's like really empty and it's not half full so again, this one here is the one that I gravitate toward most of the time. All right. So again, Aqua di Gio Profumo for 2021 for me it's still one of the greatest. All right. Up next, this one here is like feminine kind of a fragrance, but it is beautiful. It's called Sissing Jack Open Road by Michael Malou. Look at that damage over there. Man, the AKA they called it Brave and Adventurous Fragrance. It's a tart citrusy ginger scent combined with aroma of juniper berries. Ooh, where can you ask that? It is beautiful. It opens up very delicious massive feeling fragrance for me the main player is the vanilla and the tonka the, the tonka which is i love it's more leaning to the feminine side of fragrance but my wife left this fragrance because it's easy to wear and um you know most of the co her co-workers asking what are you wearing and then she was like you know what my husband's fragrance and they can't believe it but this here for me it's a unisex fragrance. It is beautiful from the opening to the dry down. You know, it's so delicious. I'm addicted to this one. Again, Citizen Jack Open Road. Check this out, guys. Last but not the least, this one here is the classic one. Silver Mountain Water, 1995. Boom. This one here has bergamot, mandarin orange, green tea, black currant, musk, pita grain, sandalwood, and galbanium. Again, this all year fragrance, it is beautiful. It's so brisk, it's so fresh. It's massive feeling fragrance. It's easy to wear, you can wear it anytime, any day. White t-shirt fragrance, casual setting. This one's really, really good. Opens up with green tea and musk. Again, the down part though, you will pick up a little bit of um, inky vibe or metallic vibe to it, but then, you know, the more you wear it, it's so addictive, right? I just want to tell, let you guys know. For me, it lasted like around seven to eight hours on my skin, and it's beautiful. This one, one of the greatest, and I'm loving this fragrance. As you but you can't see how much damage it's probably like around here right now because i've been wearing it for a while so again check this out guys silver mountain water by creed and uh there you go thank you guys for um spending time with me today and um hope i will continue to do more i'm just a little bit busy and i got a lot of things to do at home oh let me digress a little bit <laughs> Alright, so again, thank you guys for watching and uh, the most important here for me um, is for you guys to stay, st stay safe and I uh, hope everything's working out for you guys, to you and your family. Alright, so again, thank you guys and I really appreciate your time. Alright, cheers.